Hey, Outer Banks fans, get ready. Season three of the hit Netflix series will be available on Thursday, February 23rd. You can catch up with John B., JJ, Pope, Sarah, Kiara, and Cleo as they begin life on the deserted island. Wilmington's own Jonas Pate is joining us, one of the creators of the series who's directed most of the episodes. Jonas Pate, welcome to the one-on-one -on -one with John Evans podcast. Thank you, John. Glad to be here. Fans would kill me if I didn't start out with this question. What's ahead for the Pogues in season three, Jonas? I come up, no spoilers, John, no spoilers. Uh, we are incredibly excited. We're getting ready to go out for the premiere in Los Angeles. We feel like it's our best season yet, but it comes out so soon. I would just say, go watch it. It's going to be out so soon. Uh, it's going to be uh, exciting. A lot, of, a, a lot of adventure and a lot of friendship. It, the things that you liked about the first two seasons, if you're a fan, you'll, there was more of that. They've lost the treasure, even the scales. not once, but twice. How many times can these kids have it right in the palm of their hands, Jonas, and get it taken away? Depends on how many seasons we end up doing, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we, we sort of felt like they needed a win this year, so we tried to give them a win. When you and your twin brother, uh, Josh, and Shannon Burke pitched Netflix on this series idea, Jonas, did you pitch it with these Indiana Jones type adventures in the back of your mind, or was it going to be the Pogues against the Kooks, and then we'll just see what happens? We believe it or not, we always had this dream of what if it, what if you were with this group of friends and it it started on what became the greatest adventure that anyone could ever possibly imagine. That it would start really small and really local, and slowly over time build and build and build. It was hard to pitch that to Netflix right off the bat because it's such a grand idea. So we pitched them sort of the, really the first season. And then once it became successful, we realized we could start telling the story bigger and bigger. But believe it or not, we always hoped it would be that. Why have viewers related so well to your characters? Do you think it's the class divide thing? Do you think it's the settings? Or is it the young men and women that you have playing these central roles? I, I think it's a little bit of all of that, but I think friends, just the friendship. I remember this thing came out in the middle of a pandemic and all these poor high school kids were stuck at home without a connection to their friends. It's lonely. I think this whole generation is lonely because of these iPhones. And I think they long for more human connection. And I think that was real in the series. It's real on screen, it's real off screen between those casts, between our cast. And it bled through into the work. And I think that more than anything is what did it. Was there father and me. a special moment maybe in as you were shooting season one or as shooting season two that you thought to yourself, we've got something special here? You know, it's so funny, John. It's like when I was younger, I would really think about what would happen to a project. I'd worry about what were the reviews going to be? What was the reception going to be? Was it going to be successful or not? And then you get older and you realize that the process is, more, is almost more important than the product. And as we were making this thing, I lived, you know, I grew up in the Carolinas. I grew up in Rayford, North Carolina. I moved out to California for 20 years. I got tired of it. I moved back. And suddenly I'm back home. I'm back where I grew up in the, nice. you know, marshes of the Carolina coast. And I'm um, telling a story that had a lot of overlap with our high school life in Rayford. And I just remember thinking, man, this is awesome. This is just so lucky. So I didn't think like it was going to be a hit, but I knew it was a special experience. And I think the, the cast did, the crew did. And you can hear my entire conversation with Jonas Pate talking about the upcoming season of the hit show Outer Banks. It's the new episode of the One on One with John Evans podcast. Free download on all the major podcast apps. You can also find links to listen inside this story on our news app.